we're uh, we're going to keep it rolling on Thursday. We got two CUSA games, but we're going to focus on a a Sun Belt banger, if you will. The James Madison Dukes, fresh off a loss to ULM, they welcome in the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. Uh, the line right now, James Madison, favored by 9.5 at BetUS, of course. The money line, Coastal Carolina, plus 285. And we've got a total of 61 on the game, so that means an implied score around 35 to 26 on this one. I always think this game is going to be close. But the last two seasons have given us 56 to 14 and 47 to 7 that James Madison wins. However, under Tim Beck, Coastal is 4 and 1 against the spread as a road dog, and they've won three straight outright in that role. James Madison only 4 and 4 against the spread in the last two seasons as a home favorite. Uh, my number on this has James Madison minus 11 and a half, and my last four week stats has actually got James Madison minus 19 and a half. Parker, let's start with you. Tim Beck against Bob Chesney. That's a sneaky good coaching matchup. What are you seeing in this one? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I've made my feelings known about uh, Coastal Carolina and have admitted, hey, maybe I, I undersold what they have there. I think they're playing very, very consistent. Uh, and I, I do like Bob Chesney and what James Madison is able to do uh, overall this season. I have them by about 11 here, uh, specifically for, for a couple reasons. One, Coastal Carolina's rushing offense is terrible. 97th in the nation in EPA per play, but they're eighth in EPA per drop back. They're rushing a whole lot, 10 percentage points more than average. So they're selecting those dropbacks really, really well. But James Madison pass defense is 15th in the nation. So completely mitigates the strength that Coastal Carolina has. And James Madison's 47th overall rushing defense is really going to frustrate Coastal Carolina. That being said, the reason I'm not on James Madison right here is I look at the UL Monroe game and I see that James Madison against a not great defense went one for five on fourth downs. They were positive in the turnover margin. They had fewer penalty uh, yards, even if they had more penalties and time of possession was almost even ULM played this very annoying brand of opportunist uh, opportunistic football that I think coastal Carolina is absolutely capable of. See the Jacksonville state game where coastal Carolina, <clears throat> excuse me, where Coastal Carolina uh, just kind of let Jacksonville State implode and took advantage of that. And, and again, played a very annoying brand of football. Their offense is, is is very good, top 40 in the nation. And their defense is only 71st, which for a uh, a team of their caliber is not not too shabby overall. I, I really think that Coastal Carolina could make Jacksonville State play their game and, uh, and keep this thing well within the margin, even if my numbers are on the opposite side of it. Huge, huge pace differentials here uh, in terms of style of play. I mentioned Coastal Carolina, 123rd in rush rate over expected. James Madison's defense is 46. So uh, they've been passed against a lot. They have not faced anything like the rushing volume that Coastal Carolina is going to throw at them. And on the other side of the ball, James Madison is 46th on offense in rush rate over expected. Coastal Carolina is 85th. So they've been run against a lot. They're going to see a lot of volume there. I'm really interested to watch which of these coaches can impose their style of play on the game and see if Coastal Carolina can get this into a rock fight. Yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, you broke that down pretty well. Uh, the, I feel the exact same way about this. And Kyle, uh, you know, as Parker mentioned, James Madison lost at Louisiana Monroe last week, and that was right after it looked like they might be the best team in the Sun Belt. They started to get a little bit of a, a playoff talk, right? Do we look at this spot as more of a bounce back or more of a letdown after their first loss of the season? Yeah, it's an interesting question. Uh, I think James Madison's the team I trust more of the two. Um, uh, both good coaches, but I would side with James Madison as having a coaching advantage in this game. And I think one bad game from the James Madison offense, I mean, UL Monroe has actually been pretty decent on defense. And they stall, they run the ball consistently. They're, I think, 133rd in the country in tempo, so they're playing this low-scoring games, running the ball as much as they can. Vincent's doing a great job with UL Monroe, definitely. Shout out there. Coastal Carolina has been inconsistent this year. You guys know this. I mean, they had that great showing against Jacksonville State and then really sleepy showing against Temple. Overall, pretty good. The thing that has me concerned for Coastal, though, is their defensive showings of late. Virginia, 525 yards on them. I mean, Virginia is not exactly a machine on offense. Old Dominion put up 37 points. 37 points, 462 yards on them last week. Old Dominion's defense is decent, and they play pretty quick, but their offense isn't very good. Um, I think Alonzo Barnett and the James Madison offense is going to have a lot of success in a game like this. I think it's a bounce back spot for the offense, at least. Uh, Barnett with an 86 PFF rating this year. His deep ball has been excellent. 25 passes of 20 yards or more, 10 big time throws, one turnover worthy play, 96.6 PFF rating. Coastal is a below average pass rush. Very poor tackling team. I think bottom six or eight in the country. 
I think James Madison will score quite a few here. And if they jump out to a lead early, then it's hard for Coastal to slow the game down and get that lower scoring game that they want to get. So James Madison minus the points or team total over my leans in this one. That uh, that does make sense. It, this feels like the kind of game where if it if it hits 10 and a half, you might buy Coastal back, stand at nine and a half. You'd certainly lean James Madison. Uh, no official play from us, but the lean certainly towards James Madison from uh, from Kyle on this one.